Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today is a big day for AI, especially when it comes to photography, because Photoshop just brought a new update and it's gonna be amazing. We will just play with the update, I'll show you what it does, it's a huge thing and it will change your creative workflow in seconds. So let's just get started. Okay, this is a basic photo that I took at the festival and I decided that I simply want to remove all the elements in this photography and just let some sort of a greenish background, the forest and the field. And I'll just show you what happened in a few moments. So what I did, I just started to remove a single person. It was somewhere around here. It went off. Then this, then this, then this, then this. And this is how we got a completely new image. And honestly, I think this is crazy. So let me just show you the process in detail. I'm gonna delete all the generative layers and with the new update, you will have this little panel in here, which will be your main tool for doing all this magical stuff. So let's say I want to remove this person once again. I'm gonna select the person. You don't have to be very specific. You can just select around it and then click on generative field. So basically this is the panel that you'll work with. Click on generative field and if you just want this person to be removed don't type in anything because you can type a prompt and add an element or just change the initial object so just click on generate and you'll see that in a bit of time the object will be removed from the photo in our case this person sitting on a block of hay and that's it. I mean, it's super crazy if you think about it. And besides that, you have three variations. So if you click on next in here, you'll see which one suits your taste best. I think the first one is the best one because it seems to look more in sync with the image. But now if I wanna remove the whole thing from this place, I can just select all of it and then click again on generative field. Now I will click again on generate without typing in any input or any prompts and just wait it out and see what's the result we will get. And boom, it looks simply amazing. It was super fast, I didn't bother with anything at all, and I can even choose three variations. Once again, I'll show you. So this would be the next one. You'll see that because this update is still in the beta phase, you might encounter artifacts or glitches like these ones. But rest assured, you have plenty of options to choose from. And if something doesn't suit you, you can once again click on generate and generate three new layers. So let's say this one looks good. Mm. Maybe this one looks richer, so we will keep this one. Then let's say we want to remove this whole part. So I'll start by drawing. Now again, click on generative fill and click on generate. Usually it takes something like 10 seconds until you get the results. So it's not a lot of time. And that's pretty much it because honestly, I'm not sure where this will lead. We will just be homeless, all of us, and AI can do all the jobs. And as you can see, everything is now clear and green. We can again choose whatever image we like. And now the only thing we have to do is remove this place over here. So I'll just do a fast drawing. Sometimes I can miss a spot, but it's not a problem because I can just click on generate and the AI will actually get an idea of what's going on in the image and we'll try to remove it. And that's it. Like imagine how it was in the past with all the elements and look at how it is now. Crazy, we just have a landscape which is beautiful, it's not populated, there's no more festival in this image. But we can also play with it. Let's say I want to add a dog just sitting on the grass. So I'll select a place in the image and then click on generative field and this is where the fun begins because we can add elements. So I'll just type a prompt, a cute dog. So if I will click on generate, so this is how it is, it's quite quite a good result. You, you have a lot of options you can choose. Again, you can click generate if you do not like the results, but I think it's quite, quite good to be honest. It's crazy that you can just add elements out of nothing. And I think we'll just keep it. And you can even look at the details. It adds shadows, nice contour to give it this realistic vibe and look. But as you can see, if you zoom in, you will realize which parts are generated because AI can only generate up to a certain resolution. And if you set it to replace big parts of your image and your image has a high resolution, you'll see that it will be more blurry. 
but when it comes to the detail it's quite crazy it knows how to fill those gaps or replace those parts in order to give it a continuation okay so this is a picture with me looking amazed and terrified at this new update let's say that i will select the subject and i want to change the background now i will press ctrl shift and i to invert the selection and then i'll just click on generative fill and type in let's say park or a forest something like that so i'll click on generate and bam i mean the light is amazing it looks exactly like it should it looks like i'm there and i can also choose between the backgrounds maybe one of them is even better but i think the first one nails it properly and yeah that's pretty much it i mean it looks quite amazing but let's say i want to extend this image so what i will do is select the crop tool then just extend it by a bit and from here on i will use the selection tool select the empty part and click on generative fill now i will click on generate and wait for a bit and see what happens yeah and this is pretty much it it continued properly there is a certain problem sometimes you see, you'll see that there's a line but with the proper variation you'll have no problem getting the image that you want to you can also flatten the image once again use a clone stamp to actually make it look like it blends so to speak so it's quite crazy i mean from what we've started with and to this in six months from now this will be totally crazy anyways let's move on to another picture because i want to show you also how it can remove and add depending on the background and the type of image you have so let's say i want to remove this guy over here now i'll click on generative field then click on generate okay so that was pretty much it it also has an idea of perspective which i think is quite amazing i'll just type in a boat and then click on generate bam i mean i couldn't have done it better to be honest this is quite amazing and it's also a bit crazy because it looks so good it looks really good it's crazy and maybe i can add one more boat over here yeah so i'll just keep on and on and on i can fill the place with boats this i think is the best result maybe if i go on the second one and choose a different boat yes 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 <laughs> so what do you think about it if you like this video and the way we played with this generative ai make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos thanks for watching and see you next time